Please tell me why this this child died. Why? That's the part that no one wants to talk about. Wyatt was my baby. He was special from the minute he was born, honestly. He was loud and fun, and that just grew into him being a young person who was still loud and fun. Wyatt really didn't know a stranger. Everybody loved Wyatt. He was my best friend, honestly. It's hard to put into words, but the thing people say about Wyatt most is Wyatt had a light about him, and he truly did. Like, when Wyatt was in a room, it was like it was lit up. It was like he had this energy that people just kind of cling to and were interested in. And um, he was my rock. Wyatt was my rock. He really was. And um, his story needs to be told. And it's not really about breaking hearts and making people sad. To me, it's more like saving lives and being honest and potentially saving someone else and some other family from having to go through what we're all going through. I had my phone on the end of the, you know, the end table by the couch and it said Wyatt's girlfriend on my screen and she was calling. I said, oh my God, Grant, something's wrong. She said, Julie, can you please come to the hospital? I found Wyatt downstairs and I've called the paramedics and they're here now, but they're gonna be taking him to U of L. So we please come. I just felt like either he had gotten hurt or I don't know, some kind of action. I just knew the whole drive there, something's really wrong. Basically, the minute we went in the room and I saw Wyatt, it was pretty clear that Wyatt was on life support. There was a man there that, you know, I felt comfortable with. And I just said, um, I'm never gonna see him again, am I? And he just looked at me and he just went. They said that Wyatt had Xanax in his system. And I was like, enough to kill him, I guess. Mm -hmm. And they were like, basically what happened is, you know, he, he just overdosed from Xanax. And I'm like, hmm, I don't think so. I, uh, I don't really, mm -mm, I don't believe that. Then finally, um, you know, the coroner, he came in and he asked me if I would like to have more tests for him. And I was like, oh, definitely. I mean, it was just emphatic. I was like, yes, please tell me why this, this child died. Come on, he's not gonna overdose. He loved life, life was good for him. Everything was exactly where he wanted it to be. And then we finally got the call that Wyatt had fentanyl in his system. So that, unfortunately, made more sense to me because I knew that he would not try to overdose. I knew that he was not unhappy. It was an accident. I mean, in a, you know, split second, he was gone. One survives, one dies. Are you willing to take the chance with your life to just like take a pill that you don't know where it came from? You're not sure what's in it? I certainly would hope not. The point is people take chances just like that. And now maybe none of Wyatt's friends will ever take a chance like that. Maybe that, you know, that could be the story that could save those lives. But what about all the other people that don't know Wyatt? Those people can learn from this. It needs to be heard. Kids think it's safe and it's not safe. They don't know. It's, hey, I have a friend who has a friend who can get you Xanax and oops, we didn't know I had fentanyl in it. It's that simple. You don't have to be a drug addict. You don't have to be, you know, derailed in your life. There's drugs on the street. There's drugs on the internet. There's drugs out there that have fentanyl in them. You won't know they're in there until it's too late. It will be too late.
it might be easier to just say why it died. But doesn't that make people go, why? Why? That's the part that no one wants to talk about. But I still have to do what I believe, and what I believe Wyatt would want. He was smart. He, he was a smart kid. But he took that chance. He didn't know he took that chance, but he took it. He didn't know he was taking a chance. He was just taking a pill. He'd taken them before. Well, this one had fentanyl in it, and this one took his life. One pill can kill. It just takes one pill. Wyatt made that choice. He has to own it. Hopefully, this message will make other kids not make that choice. It's that simple. I love you, Wyatt. <laughs> I love you. Hope you're doing all right. Either way, I'll see you one day.